Welcome back everyone to another First Impressions. Today we are going to be taking a look at Side Bullet, the gameplay trailer. Now I've noticed a pattern with a lot of my First Impressions lately, and this is something I want to get away from, is I do not ever want First Impressions to become reaction videos. If you look at all the previous uh, videos, I do have it's like some analysis here and there, but really the whole point of First Impressions is, as the title suggests, it's supposed to be a First Impression. Is the game, is the game trailer able to help capture my attention? Is it something that I would be willing to actually go out and spend money on? Are they able to sell the product through the trailer itself without any prior research on the game? So that is really what we're going to be focusing on. And so going forward, every single gameplay trailer, teaser, etc. I'll be, I'll be, I will be giving it a rating from zero to five, zero being just not even close to being interested to five uh being very very interested so again zero to five and i would like to invite all of you to come along in every single one of these first impressions you as well i'm kind of curious between zero to five how interested are you in this game based off what you saw so the first game we're gonna do is side bullet Let's give it a shot this will be the first watch through Okay. Interesting. Got uh, some grappling hook action. So I did look it up. Apparently, it's supposed to be like a side scrolling battle royale. Has some multiplayer action here and there. A lot. <laughs> There's a lot of effects, that's for sure. Side Bullet, coming to PS5. This is definitely going to be free to play. In fact, according to this article, the online shooting Side Bullet is coming to PS5 this summer as a free to play launch. I don't really know about that. Man, honestly, Battle Royales are. It's getting to that point where they are just heavily oversaturating the market. I don't really know if anyone is really willing to play new Battle Royales. It takes a lot for Battle Royales to kind of make an impact <laughs> in today's market. Uh, but you know what? Let's give it the benefit of the doubt. Let's just take a look at this gameplay trailer one more time. So first of all, I do not care for the music at all. This is some generic. Just listen. It just sounds like some generic stock music that you'd find. Like if you just typed in YouTube stock music and no, YouTube copyright free music. That's exactly what it sounds like. And I'm not, not really vibing with it. No, it's, it's very basic and very simple. And so not, not too keen about that. It does look like from the from the get go though, it does look like you can customize your characters. Looks like there are plenty of outfits for your avatars, but seeing it as it's a free to play game, uh, it's most likely you're probably gonna have to pay for these cosmetics, unfortunately. It's from my guess. And in terms of the lo locals or locales, it looks like you're you can fight in an airport. You have a grappling hook mechanic. That's for the mobility portion of the game. Ooh, that, that looked kind of odd. What was that? Ooh! See, see that camera jitter too? Ooh, that's kind of... <laughs> that's kind of rough. Not going to lie. When it comes to grappling hooks, as a mate, if they're done properly, they can give you a sense of movement, a sense of freedom, swiftness across the battlefield. Here, it looks freaking jank, you guys. Ugh. Okay, let's see what, what's going on over here. You got a little tackling animation. Some ragdolls for the enemies. So the, I guess these are like the, the mobs around the world. You kill them, get some loot, get some ammo. Okay. Changing it up. They almost look like zombies from what I can gather. And yeah, look at the customization of the character here. So I guess that's their way of uh, allowing you to find new and more powerful weapons and get and gather ammo. 
Now the dodge roll mechanic. I'm guessing that's another player. It seems... You know what it is, too? It just feels very... It feels very rigid. Is what it is. Here, I'm guessing this is where you can purchase... I guess you can purchase all the different weapons you want. Looks like it's organized by different types of weapons. Assault assault or light machine gun, submachine gun, shotgun, launcher. Um, maybe some yep, med kit. So I'm guessing it. this is probably between rounds or even before you start the game. What, what you want to purchase for your basic loadout. Or who knows? Maybe these machines are scattered across this really large 2D map. And you can actually buy these weapons here. And one thing, just look at that frame rate too. Oh my god, that's that's so rough. Look at the frame rate of the grappling hook. Right? It, <laughs> the grappling hook isn't even latched on properly. It's just... And again, maybe it's the slow-mo effect. But that's some very jagged animation when it comes to the slow-mo. Okay, so you do have sh you do have some defensive options with the shield, and they can break. And then the moment you die, you just you just combust, you just explode. You can cancel movement abilities using the grappling hook. It looks like. <laughs> it's just straight down. Just get knocked down. Oh, hold up. Let's take a look at that Molotov throw. It looks... I mean, it looks like it could be pretty fun. Again, some of the issues that I'm seeing are the frame rate. Frame rate issues. But again, it could just be slow-mo affecting it, affecting it. In terms of all the map designs, it looks like going through a variety of different maps here. You have your basic office building. The sewers, of course. See, what's insane is... And it's it's hard to tell just from this gameplay trailer, but who knows? Maybe this could be just one giant map. Maybe surface level and up would be the office building, and as you go lower, you can go into the sewers, because that would be pretty cool. But I guess one of the dangers of having too large of a map, and this is my problem with Battle Royales, is... If the map is too large and it just takes a long time to even find any action, it can be very disengaging for the players. Like, players will just get bored. So I can definitely see this being pretty fun. If they get that nice balance between, you know, of course, giving the players time to loot and find whatever gear that they need, but also not taking too long to get into the action. It's going to be a, there's, there's this fine balance that they have to strike when it comes to it. Looks like there was a courtyard there too. Yeah, see all those particle effects. I don't know how well it's gonna <laughs> how well it's gonna be. There's always when it comes to battle royales, there's always gonna be that questioning of balance and how the weapons are all gonna work, the interactions. Only time will tell to see how well this game is gonna turn out. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below um, between zero to five. How interested are you in this style of game? As of right now, I am probably going to put myself... I'm not going to use any point fives on this skill. I'm going to put myself at a 2. It's just, I'm not... And again, it could be because of Battle Royale fatigue. But I am uninterested in this. I'm, it's definitely not a 1. I would say it's more of a 2. I'm, I'm uninterested. I would need to see more... I'm always wary about these free-to-play games because of the monetization of it. Of course, people could say, oh yeah, it's just cosmetics. But it's like, all these companies are fighting for our time to play their games, their live service games. And it's just like, games like this, like Side Bullet, do you really want to add another one? Like, it has to be a really special experience for this to really break, break the scene, break into the scene, break into the market of live service games. It's just... I don't know. It seems it's like it's a, it's a bit too late. We're in 2023. There's so many battle royales, so many battle passes. I, I'm going to give it a two. I'm not that interested. I'm uninterested in this. 
Uh, again, it could, it could it could flip with more reveals and more trailers showing more of the gameplay. But as of right now, not not too fond of it. Yeah, let me know in the comment section below, you guys, uh, if this if you're interested in this. <laughs> Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, um, I think this is kind of the approach I'm going to be taking with these first impressions. I'm going to do a little bit more analysis on these games, get my honest feedback, my honest opinion, and kind of go from there. I just I just again like I enjoy exploring the new titles that are coming out talking about them and discussing them with you guys and who knows maybe in the future there could be future vgbc review podcast episodes and yeah we'll go from there anyways all of you guys take care have a good one keep having fun gaming out there and i'll catch you in the next video the child you never knew I could have been so wrong And the only thing I'm sure I wish I never cared If you did, you wouldn't try